everyone, welcome back. My name is Manya and I'm on a weight loss, anti-aging journey. I've lost between 28 and 30 pounds, depending on the week, on the WW Purple Plan, but that's only part of my journey. I'm also trying to, if you will, age backwards as I experience the second half of my life. So today what I have for you are my empties from the month of March 2021. Let's get started with general stuff that I do to stay healthy. One is that I use this ACT mouthwash twice a day. This is the Restoring Anti-Cavity Fluoride Mouthwash. I'm a believer in fluoride. I grew up in a town that added fluoride to the water. I believe that's why I have such strong teeth. I know it's controversial, but that's just my opinion. I also went through a bottle of multivitamins. This specifically has vitamin C, D, and zinc. I went through another packet of contacts. I am very blind. I've been wearing glasses since I was three and contacts since I was nine. So I use the Extreme H2O you dispose of these every two weeks and they are much more comfortable than the gas permeables I wore for 20 years. Give me a shout out in the comments if you uh, ever wore gas perms and you remember how uncomfortable those were. I went through a bottle of the Neomed Sinus Rinse. I buy this pack at Costco. You get two of these bottles and 300 of the saline packets. If you are an allergy sufferer and you get post-nasal drip or congestion in your sinuses, I cannot recommend doing this highly enough. I do it twice a day. It's one packet, warm water up to the line, squirt it up your nose and it, oh, it's amazing. I bought this First Aid Beauty Candy Cane Body Wash over the holidays. Actually, I bought it on sale after the holidays. It's the one flavor I like during the holidays, the smell. It was okay. I think First Aid Beauty can do better. It was not as candy cane-esque as I expected. Two things of sunscreen. This one is my body sunscreen. It is the Banana Boat Dry Balance SPF 50. And then this one is the Australian Gold Tinted Facial Sunscreen SPF 50. I am religious about sunscreen. I put this Banana Boat on my body from the head down, so my neck, my chest, my arms, and as much of the back as I can reach. I do that every single day, rain or shine, no matter what, it is on my body, it is a routine. So I have this on subscribe and save through Amazon. And then the Australian Gold is sort of a well-known YouTuber secret. It's a little controversial. It is very matte, which I like. I like more of a matte sunscreen, but it can be drying, so I usually mix this with a little bit of a more moisturizing facial sunscreen. So if you've tried this in the past and you haven't liked it because it was dry, go ahead and give uh, that a shot. Try combining your sunscreen. It's, uh, it's really great. For my face, I have three Inky List products. This is a brand you can get at Sephora. I really like it. The Oat Cleansing Balm is a, a very affordable way for a first step. So you mix this with a little water on your face and it creates a, uh, um, it's an oil-based cleanser. So it takes off water-resistant sunscreen, of which this is. It takes off water-resistant sunscreen and waterproof makeup, of which I wear a lot because I exercise a lot and I live in a hot, humid climate. And it doesn't tug and it doesn't pull and I just use a cloth to take that off and then I cleanse for my second step. Really like that oat cleansing balm. And then every other day on my neck, I put some retinol. I wear Retin-A on my face, but my neck can't handle it. So I do a little retinol every other day. And then vitamin C, I do every other day on my face in the mornings. I alternate this with a lactic acid. This vitamin C from the Inky List was a little intense for me. I'm not going to repurchase it. I, I really couldn't do it as often as I wanted to. 
And then from Laneige, the Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. I bought this on a whim, got it in the Sephora sale. I won't be repurchasing. I, I mean, I'm not sure what it did or didn't do. It was pretty and I enjoyed using it, but it's not worth paying full price for. And then the Make Prem Tamanu Oil. It's, it's not an oil, it's more like a, a moisturizer. So I would put hyaluronic acid, or while I had this, I put this on first, and then I put on this. And again, not revelatory. I liked how it smelled. It's a little grassy. I kind of like that. A lot of um, American products are just so perfumey. I liked that this was a little more grassy, but I won't be repurchasing. Two things of makeup. The first is the Urban Decay Brow Blade. This is for your brows. One side is a pencil. Sorry, one side is a brush. The other side is a pencil. I keep buying this and keep saying I'm not going to repurchase it. It's fine. It gets a little dry in the brush after a while and the I can't get the <laughs> I wonder if I could demonstrate it to you. I can't get the lids to stay on. They start to pop off, and but it keeps going on sale, so I keep buying it. But um, I think there's a lot of good brow products out there. And then the last piece of makeup, if you will, is this Laneige uh, Lip Sleeping Mask. I love this. Love, love, love this. This I use uh, at night and in the morning. So I have one in my bedside table and one downstairs in my bathroom. It is, to me, the most moisturizing lip product out there. I do not use it during the day because I use a SPF lip balm, but when it's not light out, oh, this is the best. Mwah. Love it. And then the last two products are for my hair i this one is the uncle funky's daughter midnight train leave-in conditioner i bought a sample pack of uncle funky's daughter because some of the curly girls like it it was fine i like how it smells it has kind of a a, a citrusy sweet smell almost like candy but i not revelatory again and then this one is a leave-in conditioner i got in a subscription box and i hated this it has like an old lady perfume smell i had to work really really hard to get through this it probably took me almost a year just had to keep forcing myself to use it so i will definitely not be repurchasing so that's everything. That is everything that I got through in March of 2021. I hope you enjoyed a trip through my trash. Let me know what you got through. Did you use any of these products? And did I get anything wrong? Let me know in the comments below. Like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.